are no clues. Nothing. They are teenagers who literally just vanished. Never seen or heard from again. And young people gone without a trace. Somebody knows something. But today they're twin sisters. She's my everything. And their mother. I miss my son. I miss his whole life. We'll be sitting down with psychics. That's a full name, Chelsea Michelle. And they're all hoping that with these incredible readings, I feel like I'm trying to defend myself, but I can't. You can help them find their missing loved ones. Rose's daughter, Chelsea, disappeared into thin air four years ago. Is she here? Is she there? Is she on this side? Did she pass over? There are questions about some of the last things she said. I don't know why she said it three times, but she did. Some of the last people she was with. You mean you dropped the wolf? Who are you? But with the help of one incredible psychic reading. And what would the feather mean? <laughs> Holy Can anyone watching right now help Rose? Is it you? Are you the one that knows? Find her missing daughter. I want my life to go back to the way it was. Someone knows something. Deshaun's life mattered. Could that someone be you? We need your help now. A dramatic and important hour of Mari starts now. You want answers, but you don't have any. The footage is haunting. This can't happen. We just had no idea where she could be. She had vanished. was a clip from season two of the series Unsolved Mysteries. It's available now on, on Netflix. But today, we are talking to people who are living with real-life unsolved mysteries of their own. Joining us today in our studio is Rose. See, Rose is here to see if anyone watching can help find her beautiful daughter, Chelsea. You see, Chelsea vanished without a trace on May 7, 2016. And Rose will not stop searching until Chelsea comes home. Watch this. It's a psychological mind torture. Not knowing where she is, how she is, if she is. Is she here? Is she there? Is she on this side? Did she pass over? Chelsea loved to read. Chelsea loved to write poetry. Chelsea loved to ride horses. She loved to sing. And she hated to clean. <laughs> she hated to clean. Chelsea got pregnant and had her baby. Things just didn't go right. She started getting depressed. She wasn't acting right. So I took her to get help. I thought it was going to be help. But you go to a hospital and they're going to help you. That's not what happened. She was given a really bad roommate. So this person visited and they brought in drugs. And I know this because my daughter told me. Why are you mixed with a roommate that no drug addict prostitute how did that how did they go together the last time i spoke to her she, she told me she was going out to dinner and she's going for sushi and ice cream sushi and ice cream sushi and ice cream i don't know why she said it three times but she did and i get a phone call excuse me i dropped your daughter off she's going somewhere else and if something if she does anything I have nothing to do with it. I dropped her off. What do you mean you dropped her off? Who are you? You're the same person that was visiting in the hospital. That was the last time I talked to Chelsea. I just want to know where she is. Where is my kid? Let her come home. Is it you? Is it you out there that's watching? Because you know and I know and everybody knows that somebody know something have some humanity where is chelsea como where is she what happened to her and where is she wow a compelling story and rose is with us uh let's get some background first rose she is not your 
birth daughter. Correct. You adopted her. I How did that come to be? Chelsea is my niece. She was brought, uh, brought to me when she was 13 months old. And I always kept the relationship with her biological parents. I didn't get to adopt until she was six. But she always lived with me. But you fully adopted her when she I was I fully around. adopted her when she was six. But she's been with me since she's 13 months old. And you don't believe in a second that she would leave on her own? Absolutely not. Not a possibility under the sun. No. Chelsea's a homebody. Chelsea stays home. Chelsea's always in communication with us. She's had a phone since she's 13 years old. So she went missing when she's 22. That's nine years of someone having a phone. There's no way that Chelsea's out there and has access to a phone and would not communicate with us. She's graduated a Catholic high school. She has, she has the good Catholic guilt. She would never not come home. And she has a son. By the way, who's taking care of the son? I have the son. I adopted him now. She was a proud mother. Very proud. Oh, my God. She was so happy. Yeah. So, so happy. So You're, proud. I so can happy. see it. We have a picture of her and her son. She just loved, loved being a mom. Loved the whole idea of taking care of somebody. Reading. Start reading. She loved and, to sing. We, loved to sing. We have loved a video, by the way, of, of Chelsea singing. Watch, watch this. Be faithful, joyful, and triumphant. Oh, come. This has now been four and a half, almost four and a half years since yes. she disappeared. Yes. You must go through agony every day. It is a living psychological torture chamber. And I think the world's kind of joined me now. Maury, you know, the world's kind of joined the world of the mystics. Because our lives were one way. And then the next minute, like a flip of a switch, it's completely chaos. Because now everybody's cooped up. They don't know where their loved ones are from exactly. time to time. You say goodbye, you can't even have a funeral. If they go in an ambulance, you don't know if they're coming home. You don't know if you'll ever see them again. Right. There is no real goodbye. Everything's insane. And that's the world that I live in and all the missing families live in. So now you're at the point that you might think that a psychic might help you and others figure out what the heck happened to Chelsea. Now, before I bring in Jeffrey, who's a terrific guy and, and very capable at what he does, I want to get to those last days. She went to the hospital because she had problems. And in that hospital, she had a roommate. Unfortunately, they mix in people with behavioral problems with people who have drug problems. Correct. I, I, that, that doesn't make that sense to me. No. I think that was the beginning of the... It doesn't make sense to me either. You at least should be isolated from that. I don't even think that law enforcement thinks that they would mix the two up. So what happened was uh, this other person had visitors. No, the other person couldn't have visitors. So they convinced my daughter to have visitors ah. and pretend that he knew my daughter. I he see. didn't know my daughter. So this guy might have brought in drugs. He did bring supply in drugs. Supply drugs. And so there were there started to be obviously some kind of a relationship yes. there with yes. your daughter. And yes. the last thing she needed at that time was drugs. He passed her a drugs in a balloon via a kiss. Because I know this because she told me. My daughter tells me everything. We're close. And he d directed her to bring it to her roommate. So and then, I think my daughter was scared of him from the beginning. Had she left the hospital, or did she just leave the hospital? Had, had she gone home? She left the hospital, and there was a weekend that my daughter came home. I don't think she was supposed to come home that weekend. I, be I believe she was drug, robbed, and raped. I even have the man that visited in the hospital tells me my daughter was raped, and she was hanging out with the roommate. Who called you up? The man that visited. And said, don't blame me. He said, I'm dropping her off. She's going somewhere, and if she does something, he has nothing to do with it. He dropped her off. So, you wanted to contact... Incredible psychic reading. That's a full name, Chelsea Michelle. Okay. Can you be the one to help Rose? Is it you? 
Are you the one that knows? Find her missing daughter. I want my life to go back to the way it was. We put a lot of stress on our feet. It's no wonder they ache. Introducing ArchFit from Skechers. ArchFit distributes pressure across the arch, providing balance and support to make water.